Welcome back to Hot Seat, the show on YouTube with the hot seat. And, and we're, we got David So here today. <laughs> Pretty hot seat. <laughs> that's why. That's how we intro it. We the fucking, the fucking hot with a C to the hot. <laughs> we agreed. That's how we intro it. Yeah, we had true. a meeting. Very hot. The hottest seat on YouTube. Hot seat. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Hot Seat, the show with the hottest seat on YouTube. Because <laughs> we, so. we, we ask them inflaming questions. That's In, what it is. Inflaming? inflaming? Take it away. Yeah, it's not real. Wait, you, <laughs> no, no, no. We first, we first start off. Hey, in the hot seat. Hot there we go. We first start off cold. Yeah. Right. Cool questions. And then we kind of. Winter is coming. We boil it slowly. And then we fucking turn up the heat on you. So David, first question, how much do you love your grandmother? Before or after she died? Before. <laughs> Answer right. both. All right, all right. But, uh, did you love her more after she died? After she, the best. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's another question. How did you get on YouTube? How did you, what was your first YouTube video? How did you start? Uh, first YouTube video ever was a mockumentary series of me making fun of my everyday life because I hated my life. And then, <laughs> really? What was that Is it still tale? online? It's still up there, and oh, I did cool. it with a cheap little Sony XD cam, and I did it with my best friend at the time. I was in college, and I was also working two part-time jobs. I stopped doing stand-up, so I switched over to doing YouTube because I used to watch this guy named Shane Dawson. And I saw his stuff, and I was like, dude, this guy, not funny. And so I decided to do, <laughs> I decided to do my own thing. <laughs> I thought I was going the other direction. I yeah. thought it was going to be this like, direction. this inspires me. <laughs> and I didn't, touched you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that he was doing comedy. That's the most Korean shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I could do it better. And so I just saw this stuff, and I was like, oh, because I thought YouTube at the time was only a place where you needed like a special account to upload videos. Because I just watched it to like fix my car or do some other shit or watch like Korean dramas and shit like that. And so I didn't know that you could to create your own content and so when I stopped doing stand-up I switched over to making YouTube content where I would just do funny sketches just just for fun just to see if I could do it then I went into these like random like late night rants where I would just start talking shit and then the rest is history what was the most popular rant that you did uh, the one with the, uh, the the white girl who said Asians are loud which was true Asians in the library oh, yes. yeah. in retrospect big facts <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. very very true yeah. what's something that drives you crazy about yourself I can't control my eating. <laughs> yeah, that would be up there. I, I can't. I can't control it. It's so oh. fucking obnoxious. Yeah. Oh. I second that, dude. I remember I spent the whole weekend with you in Sacramento, and just realizing that we were never hungry. <laughs> this dude shows up to lunch today with more lunch yeah. for all of us. I never had a break. I felt like we ate breakfast, and the breakfast was all the way up until dinner. And then my mom in the middle would be like, you fat fuck, and then she brings more food. She woke this dude up just to smack him in the face and call him fat. Yeah. Oh my God. That's my mom, dude. All right. If you could fight any YouTuber, who would you fight? And for free or for money or what? Uh, for money? Anything, you're your dream scenario you. fight. Because I never I never want to fight somebody that's not good because it makes you look stupid, right? It's like, yeah. why the f nobody would ever respect you. You're just like a bully. You immediately, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I have a good point though. You could just do that regularly anyways, right? But it's lethargic okay. though. Okay. Like people want to see you beat <laughs> someone up because they don't like that person. Okay, Dana White comes to you. MMA, boxing, whatever fight you want, I'll set it up, I'll make it where you get paid. 10 million, that other person gets 10 million, who the fuck do you want to fight? Who is somebody my size that's a- Jake Paul? That was, that's also fat. Why do they gotta be fat? Cause we want to make it even. We have to Gabriel be Iglesias, you should fight Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> well, I'll fight, I love him, but I'll fight him. He's big, big though. Yeah, I know he's big, big, I met him. He's, Wait, fucking he's not even that, David's not that fat. <laughs> Didn't Gabriel lose some weight recently? Well, I'm I saying like so. Gabriel probably got a hundred yeah. pounds on David. Yeah. yeah, but not like you know the pounds that that you like will help win <laughs> fights. You know, like no disrespect to him. Uh, just... So who's a big YouTuber then? Oh, That's hard to say. Not a big YouTuber. We don't. Well, we don't really watch YouTube like what about that. Like so it's hard for us like, to really think. Maybe like brothers or something or anything like that. <laughs> like, uh, would there be brothers? I would fight like one of the fine brothers, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, those poor guys, man. Like a duo or something. Well, I'll fight both of them. <laughs> They're like yeah. the nicest dudes in the world, dude. No, I, would I, pay I love money. those guys. Right, that's why I can say it. I would pay a $300 pay-per-view to see him fight a Smosh brother, dude. Like, what are the oh, Smosh dude. people? I, I would not. I would yeah. take on the not hot one. What about the no. worth it guys? Would you fuck those guys up? Those are worth it guys. You know, the guys that... Oh, the worth it guys. We have one of them Steven. here. I know. They're great. I love them. Fucking Steve. <laughs> Steven Lim. Oh, yeah. Steve's yeah, Steve yeah, cool yeah. guy. He, he created that... Uh, Ten dollar burger versus a thousand dollar burger. Yeah, he is, he's too frail and kind though. Like he's nobody wants to see him fight. Yeah, you don't want to bully someone. Yeah, you don't want to see a guy shatter his wrists during a punch. 
Shatter his wrist to a round of applause. Oh. <laughs> he just does this, and there's an x ray. All the bones are shattered. Every his single bone. Yeah, gone, gone. Dust. It's like that old school MTV claymation wrestling match. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Celebrity yeah, yeah, match. Like, oh, uh. He's the kind of guy that you want to protect a damsel in distress. <laughs> He's the kind of guy who you knock out, and then you grab the mic and you go, it was worth it. <laughs> It seems on fire, bro. Be, it seems on fire. I wonder. I really wonder. I don't. I don't. I have to watch more YouTube to figure out who I would. Sam, I don't know YouTube anymore. That's why I, I can only do old references. Any TikTokers you want to punch in the face? I don't even watch TikToks. Though. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Out of all the Asian American <laughs> entertainers or, or movie whatever celebrities, who do you think you could just? You know, kind of flick off the table and you don't really care that they're part of the... the, the <laughs> oh, that's easy, dude. My favorite people ever. My best friends, the Fang Bros, dude. <laughs> dude, Love they it. challenge Love the it. Asian Love agenda it. Love it. every day. Remember, Steve. Yeah, please. Whatever race you are, that's why you're a loser. <laughs> that's just you know, the reason why you can't get women is because you're Asian, dude. And I'm trying to change that. Fuck, bro. No yeah. Asian men have ever got women before. That's sick. And yeah. the reason why? Because they're gooks. You, you, have to, you flick both of them? Yeah. I said oh, you only need to flick one of them. <laughs> oh, both? You know what? I actually like those guys. They make me laugh super hard. Really? Why yeah. is why is fucking a white chick like the top of the castle? Or like the big final boss? I don't know. The I big know. final boss. <laughs> 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 They're like, dude, I like, the dude, I played Super good. Mario my whole life, <laughs> yeah. and I have to get my Princess Peach. Yeah. 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 Oh shit, that's what it is. Princess Peach. Every, every Asian guy is trying to get their Princess Peach. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, but then you know, I think they're they're nice dudes. So what's the whole point? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not. It's awesome. more like roasting them instead of violence against them. Yeah, and I'm also like twice their size, and I think they're really nice guys. Like I just dislike their content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just dislike their creative voice. <laughs> And their messaging. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. But like, you know, I'd go to their house and eat their food or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I do yeah, a mukbang yeah. with them, you know? Yeah. That's how it is knowing most YouTubers, though. Yeah. Like, you mean, there's like, I don't really fuck with you, but yeah. I'll eat a sandwich with you. Yeah, I don't, don't, don't want to watch you, but you're kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, what do you think about, what's, what's your thoughts on uh, uh, Shane Chi? <laughs> we know! <laughs> I have three podcasts about it. <laughs> Just for people who can't listen yeah, yeah, to the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. Oh, it's it's one... It's a bad film. It was not good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. I love how much you sugarcoated. That's awesome. Like, yeah. If you, if you, <laughs> If you want to know the reasons why, so you can watch my podcast, yeah, and right. I break it down for like an hour and a half. Do you feel pressured from the Asian community to fucking, like, just love everything that comes out? Or well, I feel like... no pressure at all. Suck my fucking dick. <laughs> if I don't like it, I don't have to fucking like it just because you look like me, bitch. And by the way, I look like everybody's Asian baby anyway, so who the fuck cares? <laughs> but think about what you're doing to the movement right now, David. I know, David. What the fuck? Move Boring. my nut sacks in your mouth, bitch. How about that? How about that? The best part is, like, this, these movies, they're, everyone's talking about how much they crushed it, how much money they made, yeah. and the idea that you can take that money away from them is like fucking absurd. <laughs> <laughs> you single-handedly can take down Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still got great paychecks. That's what we can. And by the way, when we do a movie review, it doesn't mean that you can't like the fucking film. Yeah. Do your it. own movie review and tell me how much you love it, and then we can discuss it. I don't give a fuck if you like it. <laughs> there, are, there, are people, there are people who love Andrew Garfield as Spider Man, whereas most of us know that it was ass. Yeah. Garfunkel, dude. It was fucking bullshit. This guy loves it. Dude. <laughs> Taika should do a review channel because he loves that one. His favorite Spider Man. There are people who go to Amy Schumer fucking stand up comedy and they oh. cry laughing. Yeah. Dude, no, they get carried out of their own stretchers. It's <laughs> because <laughs> they, they also had heart attacks. <laughs> dude, they fucking died laughing. For yeah. sure. I, I'm going to I'm I'm turn it down way cold, okay? Out of all the Asian hate crime videos, which one was the funniest one to you? <laughs> that's a good question. That's a, that's a very the funniest cool Asian question. hate crime video that has ever happened was when I got attacked outside my gym. You oh, did? Dude, this motherfucker. You that did? I told so. What? That's crazy. Outside of my gym. You're fucking huge. Someone tried to. What the fuck? So I was in South Pasadena. <laughs> this is like the funniest thing ever. So I'm in South Pasadena. I go train at the gym. And there's this guy. So South, the, where we're out in South Pass is right next to Highland Park. So there's a bunch of fucking like druggies and shit out there. And the metro station too. Yes. And so I'm walking up. This guy literally like classic early 19, like 1980s movie shoulder bumps me. Like in like the hallway type of thing. Oh, and, like, and he hits me in the shoulder. I'm like, hey, what the fuck? And he goes, what's up? And 
You know, typically what happens when somebody approaches me, if anybody wants to fight, I run away. Like, there's no point. I don't want to fight anybody. Yeah. Like, what's the what's? If yeah, you can right. walk away, just fucking walk away. <laughs> yeah, fucking right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. right, bro. <laughs> Cut to all the time. Zayn's like, I will fuck you up. <laughs> you piece of shit. Yeah. I will skull fuck. You. I will knock you the fuck out. And stab somebody in the face with a pencil. Yep. <laughs> My mom now stopped too. <laughs> Keep that same energy. You know what I mean? Today's video is brought to you by Babel. Man, learning new languages. Oh, why is it so difficult? And why is it gotta be so boring? Man, I wish there was a program out there that would help me. Thanks to Babbel, there is because they are the number one selling language app out there. You can check them out, it is so nice. And what's dope about their lesson plans, they don't follow some traditional textbook. Mm -mm. They got AI where it helps you learn, it's intelligent learning, and you get to learn stuff created by 100 language experts. Yeah, and these lessons, they're only like 15 minutes, so you don't have to be in a classroom for like two hours, you don't have to look at a book or a textbook, you don't even know if it's pronounced right or whatever, but that's the pretty awesome thing is because they got the voice recognition technology where you can speak it into, into the app and they're like, yeah, that's right, that's right. Or not. And one of my favorite parts is they also have a 20 day money back guarantee. Meaning, if you're trying to learn another language and you're like, let's see if this is for me, you could try it out for two weeks. And you're like, you know what, it hasn't been working and they'll give you a full refund. So if you wanna learn another language, I would definitely check out Babbel, cause right now they got a special deal too. Go to babbel.com and for a three month subscription, you get another three months for free. That's six months for the price of three, all you have to do is go to babbel.com, B-A-B-B-E-L.com and use the promo code off the record. The promo code is off the record at babbel.com. Learn another language. See you next time. He, so he shoulder bumps me. I turn around. I go, what the fuck? I didn't like direct any anger towards him. I was just like, what the fuck? I walk around. This guy goes, what's up? Doesn't give me any chance. Just swings at me. Ooh. Straight up swings at me. And so I literally tried to like stuff the shot, but then what happened, I don't know what hit either his chin or his head, but he knocked, I had a black eye for like a couple of weeks because he, he actually he, hit you or? I think it was like his chin or his head or his oh. shoulder or something because I kind of tried to stuff the shot. Yeah. And at this point. What's stuffing the shot? I know shit, I'm a fucking pussy. It's just, if somebody doesn't <laughs> overhand at you, if you stuff the shot, you kind of break the range of motion. What does that look like? You get close, you get close. So I go like this? So if you do like, like overhand. Overhand right? like so that? Stuff it. Oh, that stuff is stuffed. No, stuff I stuffed it. it. And then he. Dude, you can do that quickly, like in the moment? I guess, but with all the training. I've been like, training for three years. I'd be like, yeah, I gotta stuff. Me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think I gotta stuff them. Oh, God. Well, fuck. David was wrong. Oh, God, <laughs> he was wrong. I stuffed it. I stuffed it. I'm gonna YouTube how to do it right real fast. <laughs> also, dude, also got a black eye from this, so it obviously yeah. didn't work. <laughs> Whatever it was. I had like a. And so, when you get hit out of nowhere, the first thing you see, you know, the cartoon when you see stars? Yeah. This whole eye fuzzy. It's just like a, you just <laughs> like, see like um, yeah ringing. when your TV's fuzzy. Yeah, so it's just yeah. like ringing and shit. And three years of boxing and kickboxing, it is my time to fuck this guy up. Yes. I'll tell you what I did. I used none of it. I went up to him. I fucking grab him with my left hand and I just push him against this half brick wall. I smash him onto the wall like a serial killer. No anger. I just started slapping him. Just <laughs> bow, bow, bow. And I had this windbreaker on. <laughs> So he couldn't grab me. He was so oh, yeah, really He's all slippery. <laughs> so he just sounded like a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kept slapping him full fucking force. Good. And let me tell you something. That shit hurts your fucking hand. My hand was throbbing. Like oh, that would hurt. That yeah. shit hurts so bad. But it's better than f uh, full fist because you're going to hurt your hand. I dislocated my hand punching a dude. That's what I'm face. saying. Well, I, I'm not even thinking. Of, I'm just going back to the first martial arts I know was where <laughs> yes. my parents used to be. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go. There you go. I just start slapping this dude and then I grab him by his fucking pants and his shirt and I throw him out like Jazzy Jeff from Fresh Prince. And I just <laughs> chuck his ass, and he gets up, he's like, I'll fuck you, I'll fucking kill you. I, mean, I think he's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm but, sure. <laughs> but that's basically what happened. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he just ran away after that? He just ran away, and I slapped him fucking hella hard. So that was David So's funniest Asian hate moment. <laughs> Where is this video, and how can we watch this? Yeah. <laughs> we said there's no cameras outside the gym. I fucking Damn. wish. We've yeah. hit the 13 uh, uh, minute mark, which is when we like to get real personal and real, real <laughs> Now it gets really That's steaming. From the mind? Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna ask you a real personal question. The Wuhan water. Wuhan <laughs> water, baby. <laughs>
<laughs> I should have known better. And that personal question is, what is, you're, you're 30 something now. You've been for some time, right? What is one of your biggest regrets in your 20s? Uh, I, I wish I would have lost weight earlier. Do you think oh, weight battling is like a huge deal in your life? I think I've always had like, uh, there's a lot of things I wish I would have done earlier. Like for example, I wish I would have started like per taking kickboxing and boxing a lot earlier because then I probably would have taken it a lot further. But there's always a give and take, right? You can't fucking kickbox and box three hours a day and then run a business. Yeah. I don't think that's possible. Yeah. And so, not at the level that in a pro level. No, yeah. not at the level if you want to get better. There's a certain point that I realized that you can get up to here doing it casually, and the rest is time. Now it's just it's just road work, it's grind, and I don't care enough about it to do that part mm -hmm. for me to forego everything else. So I wish I would have done it when I had more time. But that's probably the only semi regret I have. But I don't. Really and in the weight thing, as a as a, that would have came hand in hand with it, right? Because athletics. All that. Because I fucked up my knees. Like, my knees are all fucked up. My back's all fucked up. And that's just from me not working out and just not caring about my health. And that's like time you don't get back. You know, Mario would have been happier too. You're one of the most athletic fat dudes that I know. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's a good compliment. Strange backhanded compliment. <laughs> Where do you think that comes from? No, but I mean, like, not, not, I mean, you're not fat now, yeah. but when you were, like when we go fucking play basketball for seven hours straight, bad, dude. Bad. I'm like, how is this fat dude keeping up with us? <laughs> He's like what drinking milk on the sidelines and shit. <laughs> I just fucking take a little speed. <laughs> I'm so surprised he's not fainting and we need to fucking put a donut in his mouth to wake him up and shit, you know? He's just going. Dude, we used to play basketball for like five hours straight. Somebody get him a donut! We're like, what? He needs to wake up! Nah, dude! What do you think it is, your relationship with food? Like, is it a comfort thing? It just tastes good. <laughs> it just tastes good. Like, me and David got the same approach on food, where if we're sad, we'll eat. If we're happy, we're gonna eat too. Yeah. <laughs> so you just, no matter what, it's just like a celebratory thing or it's a coping thing, whatever, but food's just so awesome. You know what happened? What really fucked me up is when I started making money. Cause yeah. now my options just blew the fuck up. Mm. It's like, so oh. budgeting and being broke made you less fat because you couldn't eat so much? It's also like the poverty mentality too. When I eat food and there's stuff that's expensive, even if I'm full, Oh, oh me shit. too, me too. Because that right there yeah. was 3642. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna eat that. When I was younger, I couldn't eat that food, yeah. so I'm gonna fucking eat it. And if you leave that leftover, guess what? I don't take leftovers, dude. Yeah. I eat everything on the fucking table. Dude, I took leftover. Me and Nicky were standing at the bike the other night, the bicycle. And uh, I was full already because this chick was playing poker the whole time. <laughs> you don't take that. that and, and I got like a fuck I got like another meal to eat with her because it's her birthday and shit. And then uh, they're like, they're like, do you want to take it with you? And I was like, yeah. And then I knew the whole time I wasn't gonna eat it. Yeah. Oh, I literally yeah. just walked it back in the room, put it in the fridge, and then I left without even getting it. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I just know I'm a piece of shit like that. No, I'll never, happens. I'll it's, never do it. It's, it's it's just hard. Like when you have, like for example, when you know when I was in Vegas and I had like the whole food treatment, I didn't have to eat eight skewers. <laughs> but what that was A5 Wacky. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> You're gonna yeah. eat it. You didn't even pay for it. You got the whole thing for fucking I sponsor. Know. If I did pay for it, you would know how much that cost. If you had to pay for it, how much more would you have eaten? Do you think? I would have ate way more. How much <laughs> how much did it cost? How about that? Uh the whole I think the whole experience was four hundred dollars. Jesus. Yeah, so it's per person, so 800 bucks for two people. I don't even spend $400 when I get groceries. Yeah, no. yeah. for a month. <laughs> yeah, that's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you're not single, but you're... But you're also not buying caviar and shit. Yeah. 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 I mean, there was A5 Wagyu, there was a sturgeon caviar, there was gold flakes on stuff unnecessarily. You're not buying gold flakes from Albertsons. Was, uh, yeah, why? Why do they do that? I don't know. It doesn't taste like anything. Yeah. It's a presentation. Yeah, it's a presentation thing. I don't want to eat gold, though. I want to melt it and wear it. Yeah. <laughs> They'll have like gold flake corn dogs, which is so stupid. <laughs> it's like it's a fucking corn dog. No. I know. I want to chip off the flakes and really then put it, it and keep it. You know, <laughs> yeah. make a ring out of it or something. I just love food. Food is fucking fire, dude. And there's no, you have no like uh, coping mechanism with food at all. Like stereotypically, they say that that's. I don't. The way that I eat when I'm stressed is the way that I eat when I'm happy. Yeah. So <laughs> you're just you're just nonstop. I just want to try new things and like for example too like just yesterday I made a pumpkin pie for no fucking god reason. <laughs> you didn't bring any. Damn. You're so weird like that, dude. Pumpkin pie is bomb. How did, yes. how did it come out? Oh, it came out great. It's bomb. like it, there's like a fun experiment thing too that I'm trying it out with. So well, we got a bunch of free pumpkins from Trader Joe's just because it was free. Because they, they they ordered too much sugar pumpkins and they couldn't sell them, so they had them in a cart for free. So a buddy of mine brought like four pumpkins over and I was like, 
Gotta make pumpkin pie. That's why I made pumpkin pie. I didn't know for the longest time that pumpkin pie was actually made out of pumpkins, like predominantly right. made out of pumpkins. Yeah, yeah, it was made out of pumpkins. I just didn't I just didn't think it was even real because yeah. the uh, way pumpkins smell, I'm like, this uh, isn't yeah. gonna be. They put this fucking nut and cinnamon in that. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna, I'll end the video with this because we have a little bit of time left. Uh not that many people know that you actually have a brother. Growing up, what was the biggest fight that you've had with him? This fool put me in a crippler cross face. <laughs> What's that? And it hurt bro, so bad. WWF? Bro, I told you, I get my ass beat all the time. Oh, so, it, so they would basically trap one of your arms, and then they, he wrapped his hands around my forehead and he yanked. Oh. How old are you, and how, what was his size? Was I his? was, I, I think this is just before I outgrew him, so I was probably seven. And then he was like, <laughs> and he was like 10. And then this little crippler cross faced me, and he didn't realize how much it hurt. And I was screaming, so it's like a reverse can opener. So he just oh, fucking shit. starts snapping my spine back. Oh, and I was screaming and he just didn't know how much it hurt. And then his friend did it to me after again. Because <laughs> it was funny. Because it was funny to them. Did you end up like wailing on him or like super awesome. This is when I was still really small. But in, in Korean culture too, you never wail on somebody who's older than you. Oh, yeah. There's like a mental block of them yeah. beating your ass when you're so young. You just can't put your hands on them. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? I, I put my hands on him once and then we never. I never did it again. Did you I, feel so bad after? Oh, I felt... Terrible. Well, you, you betrayed do? your people. <laughs> <laughs> I felt I felt bad because his feelings were hurt. I see. Because his younger brother actually hit him. You know. Oh, what I mean? yeah. But then he had it fucking coming. That bitch. <laughs> like this dude. <laughs> he didn't understand the concept at the time that I think I was getting older and I was you know starting to have my own opinions and thoughts. So it wasn't that your thoughts were law. And even when I was a kid, I was just like, you could have your opinion, I could have my opinion. Two things can be true at once. Just fucking, just do your own thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was, I still remember the argument, or what it was, not what it was about, but what we were arguing about was, I basically, he had an opinion about something, I had a different opinion. I said, hey, you just think what you think, I'll think what I think. And he goes, no, you're wrong. And I'm like, it's okay. Just do what you do and I'll do what I do. Just leave me alone. He goes, no, say that I'm right. And I'm like, you need to leave me. And by the way, I'm twice the size at this point. And then he comes up Revenge and time. slaps me upside my head. What full the fuck? fucking force. I do the same thing, I fucking pick him up and I slam him upside down on his head into the couch. I don't think that's the same thing, but. <laughs> I did the same thing, I put it in his mouth. Oh. I mean, the same thing as uh, the, the guy at the, the gym where I chucked him. So I basically picked him up oh. and, oh. and I, and I dipped him that. and I slammed him. And then. Like Jesse Jeff. That's yes. a power slam, dude. And then he gets up and he's so shocked. He just looks at me, like disappointed, and he gets up and he walks out. And then my mom looks at me and she goes, you fucked up. No. And I look at my mom. I was like, he hit me. And yeah. she goes, yeah, but you don't hit your older brother. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. So this is those moments when you're a kid where everything is so confusing. You don't know what the fuck is going on. The rules like, are bullshit. I don't understand what you mean. He hit me. Uh, why can't I do something? Is like, my mom said, this. you hurt his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> like, he literally slapped me upside my head. So I was just pissed. Is he the favorite? Like the. Oh, they loved him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, one time, just this quick story. <laughs> we got into this one fight. This dude literally comes up and he loves slapping me upside my head. <laughs> and I loved. I, he's, he's such like, a gentle guy now. He doesn't seem aggressive dude, at all. For real. No, <laughs> and he's so quiet. He's the calmest man ever. Some shit happened, but he, he, slapped, so he slapped me upside my head. And it's like a he's Korean started. thing to do is to slap people upside their head. It's like, I don't know why. But he does that shit, and I turn around, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I move my chair, like a rolly chair, and I push it back. I'm like, don't do that. And I guess he sprayed his thumb in basketball earlier that morning, and I pushed it back. And then he socks me in my head, and then I turn around, and then he punches me in the oh, eye. Oh, fuck. Fucking gives me a black eye. I, sh I shove him. He, we break the TV, oh, right? Shit. I come outside. My eye is shut. He full on decks me in the eye. Mm -hmm. I look at my mom, and she goes, what did you do to your brother? <laughs> <laughs> while, you're, while you have a swollen Man. eye. Check this shit out. Socks me in the eye. I have a black eye. My mom starts beating the shit out of me because I pushed my brother and I broke the TV. Jesus, dude. Right? Yeah. Then my dad comes home. He goes, what did you do to your brother? Oh, no. Beats my ass simply because I broke the hierarchy of speaking to somebody older to you like that. Like, you're not supposed to do that. Not for breaking the TV. My dad would kick my ass. <laughs> so I got my ass beat by all the family members that day. <laughs> it, was, it was great. Holy shit. Yeah. What kind so, of TV was it? It was one of those old ass tube TVs. You know, back in the day, that yeah, shit was yeah, one yeah. of the ones. Yeah. So expensive as fuck, basically. Yeah, I don't need therapy at all. No, you're good. You're good, bro. You're way good. Your relationship with food is just because you like food. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like food, it's delicious. It was the only thing that didn't yell at me. 